Hey there, welcome to my um, hopefully a summary that's going to help you to distinguish the difference between your TM5 and our TM6. We like to refer to the TM6 as our smart connected kitchen um, because it does get smarter as it gets older. It doesn't go out of date as such. If you have updates all the time that come and make it a little bit more clever um, year after year. So I'll explain that a little bit further in a sec. So just to look at the actual machine itself, um, as you'll notice, it, there is a larger screen, um, and I will give you a close-up look of that shortly. And it has swipe capability, as well as the ability to play high-resolution videos. Um, so if you're in the middle of a recipe and you're not quite sure what to do, sometimes there are videos to help you understand what the next step is. So the screen, obviously a really great feature there. Um, I know the tech heads love it, kids love it, teenagers will cook with it. Now, as far as the parts go, you'll notice the MC or the measuring cup is a little different to look at. It actually locks into the bowl, which is awesome. Um, and it's just made out of slightly different material there. It still has the 50 mil and the 100 mil indicator on it. Um, so there's that bit. Here we have the simmering basket. The simmering basket has a lid now to keep it safe. So when the lid is on, if you pack it full in, inside, there is still room for the air to escape when the lid is on. So that's the same, but with the lid. Now your splash, uh, your um, your spatula, it's got the flexible tip on it, which is amazing for getting batters and um, softer sort of dips and things like that out. It's also got the hook there, you can hook it up. Still got the, the feature here where it won't touch the bench and make it all messy. Um, that's a really good little feature, added on to a good tool already. Now, something that is new is the splash guard. So your splash guard goes on top like that. Your auto locking arms will lock down on the tabs to keep that safely in place. This is used when we are using our high heat function. So, not sure what high heat is. I like to refer it as the game changer. <laughs> I absolutely love this. It will saute your onions beautifully, high heat vegetables. Um, also into sugar work, so you can do lollipops and get that beautiful caramel, etc. So that's what this is for, and it's quite simply, it's, it's closed where it's open, and it's closed where it's open, to let the steam escape, but not to have anything splash out. That's the name, splash guard. Uh, the Varoma is the same. The Varoma is 3.3 litres. It's still got the same tray, everything, there was no need to upgrade any of that. Um, this might be made from a different um, material than what yours is. You might have a see-through one. This one's just a little bit thicker, keeps the heat in a little bit better. 3.3 um, litres there, same as your TM5. And your bowl is the same size too. It's 2.2 litres. Now, the bowl with the TM6 and the 5, they cannot be interchanged because the 6, being able to go up to a high heat, um, it's a little bit more insulated on the bottom. So you'll notice the bowl is a smidgiest bit more sturdy um, when you know when you compare them, when you hold them both, but um, it's definitely worth it for the high heat. Can you tell I love it? Um, so when you're weighing, the TM6 goes in one gram increments rather than five gram increments. It auto connects to your Wi-Fi. So once you turn it on, there's no need to sync anything. You don't have to touch anything. Once you've initially set up your Wi-Fi, which is quite simple, um, it will automatically re-connect um, to that each time. Whereas a TM5, the only way you could connect to um, get your updates and things like that, or cookie do, was with the cook key on the side. If you didn't have the cook key, then you couldn't get any updates. With the TM6, it's all integrated. So cookie do is actually built into the machine, and I'll show you a video, a little snip in the video in a minute. Um, so that it's all user friendly. It's smooth, it's not clunky, you don't have to manually sync anything. It's all there ready live. You add something on, on the app, it'll come straight across to your TM6. So you still have the options of auto. Um, so with the five, you have the manual automatic or guided. With the six, you have the manual or interactive manual or guided. All right, temperature wise. So the five was 37 degrees to 120 degrees. The six is uh -huh, the 37, but it goes up to 160 degrees via your guided cooking. So that's when we're talking about the high heat and the sugar work. Software updates, as I mentioned, will come in automatically 
with the TM6, you just switch it on one day and it'll ask you if you would like to update it. You hit yes or you say later, just like you do with your phones, and then you update it when it suits you. Um, access to Cookie Do, like I said, you just swipe one way and it's Cookie Do, swipe the other way and it's your modes. Um, there are different levels of brightness you can choose on the TM6 on the screen. Um, now, accessories wise, the cutter and the blade cover peeler are both able to be used with the TM5 or the TM6. Um, now, there are so many modes with the TM6 and like I said, I'll show you in a second just how many there are. And they're things that as they're upgraded, you know, as Bulwark in Germany are working on these things, then they're released to us and it's via that cookie do um, and the Wi-Fi that that will come in. So your mixing bowls are the same. Same, you can choose your language on the machine as well. Um, now, just going back to cookie do, there are 97,000 recipes on cookie do, which is our big recipe platform. Um, you can choose your language there, or if you speak another language, you can add that platform as well. So that 97,000 includes a whole heap of different countries' platforms. Um, I think if you just want to search straight English, it was about 12,000 recipes, which will keep you occupied, don't you worry. Um, so it's lovely to have that support in addition to the ability to, you know, add things to your shopping list, meal plan your week. So it's not just all up to you. You can sit down with the household, plan your week on a weekend. Then if you're not the first home from work and a teenager or a partner a home before you, they can just click on the day of the week. You've already done your shopping. It's all in the fridge and they can start dinner for the household before you get home. So it's not just on one person. I have Cookie Do on the app. Now you can search anything you want here in the search bar um, and different items will come up. Otherwise you can check out this first page for some inspiration if you like. It does change often and update. So, um, and I really enjoy looking what the community is cooking at any given time as well. So that's that front page there. Now, when you go and search what you want to make, you can also change the filters up here to select ingredients. Say you, you know, had a lot of tomatoes that you had just grown in your garden or got gifted something in particular, had something in your pantry you needed to use up. You can pop it here in the ingredients list there. Um, otherwise, you can choose by how difficult it is, how long it takes, um, what accessories you have. Now, the other thing is you can choose your language. If you speak another language, you can choose that. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's some great little features here. You can look via tags. So if you were gluten free or excluded ingredients, if you couldn't have garlic or onion or whatever it might be, this is this is where you can just sort of hone down your search a little bit more to be more relevant to what you're after. But let's look at beef stock paste. Let's say, okay, it tells you how many portions, how long it takes to make, how hard it is or not. Now you'll notice this one's in ounces because in my filters, I had ticked English, but not Australia. So I get overseas platforms that are in English. So this is a UK, I think. Um, now, yeah, oh, US, sorry. Um, so it tells you down the bottom what book it's come from. Um, and scroll all the way at the top and it tells you you can make it in a five or a six. Now, what you need to do here for Cookie Do is press the add button and you can add it to your week and say, you know what, Thursday I'm having a cook up, I'm going to add it that day. Then you can also press the add button and add it to your shopping list. Now, let's go back and look at another recipe. Let's do ragu. If you know you really want to make that and you don't need to look at the recipe because you're familiar with it, you can add it to your week straight from those three dots and say, yes, I'm going to have that for dinner on Wednesday. Um, and then I might need to add that to my shopping list too. Now, if you would like to add something to, say we want to make beef tacos, you can add that to a collection, which is like a folder. So here you can add it to, this is my personal, my folders. Um, now, whatever is relevant to you and your family. So you can create a collection um, just like that. There you go. And a collection was successfully created there. So you can see that's dinners and the recipe has added to that collection. So that on your Thermomix, when you click on my recipes, it'll be sitting in there. Now, we come back again and go down here 
um, sorry, to my week and you can see what's planned for this week. And it looks exactly the same on your TM6. So if, you know, I don't know if you've done the shopping on the weekend and you're home late and your teenager is home before you and can start dinner for you, all they have to do is go, oh, Wednesday the 8th of May, we're making ragu and start the recipe. Now, in addition to this, if we hit the little cart button down here, you can search via recipes or by category. Now, I already had some things in here, so I can just remove it from the shopping list um, so that I've only got, see, just click and review, renew, uh, remove, not renew, um, remove, right. And you can add additional items here. So you can see I've added dog food, but I can tick that off and say I've got it or I can untick it and say I still need it. Same with all of these other items. So here, if you go, all right, I've got olive oil, I've got garlic, I've got carrot, I've got sage, I've got bay leaves, I've got red wine, um, I've got sugar, I've got crushed tomatoes. So you just mark it off either as you put it in the trolley or you can take this through to Woolworths online. So one of the things that you can do as well is go, okay, oopsie, I drank all the red wine. I need to add that to my list. So you just untick it. Tick it again down the bottom and it unticks and adds it back up here um, so you can see it's um, back in your ingredients list. You can look at it by category, by recipe, so you know what you're doing. Um, and then I think the recording thing's over it. There we go. The three dots at the top and click order ingredients and it'll take you through to Woolworths Online. You choose your store, you log in with your Woolworths Online login um, and continue your shopping if you want to choose online or like I said, you can just simply have the app open, the Cookie Do app, as you're putting things into your trolley. Um, just mark it off like that as it's going in. So there's a couple of options there. But this is just a quick overview on what Cookie Do is. So here's a screen of the Thermomix. Same as the 5. It's got the time, the temperature and the speed. You've got your reverse button. Um, down here is the timer swipe this way and it takes you straight through to cookie do you can search via this screen or you can scroll down and have a look at all the content um, some great inspiration on this page and it gets updated often so you can see what other people are making um, pick up any hints and tips you can see there's a video so there are many ways to cook with thermomix how and cool is that has a special recipe close to their heart so if you want to have a look at things, you know, like I mentioned before, if there's a recipe that says a particular way to fold the pastry, sometimes there will be a video to accompany that to help you out. Um, what the community is cooking. So it's Greek Easter at the moment. So there's lots of that sort of those recipes to support that. Um, the latest collections released. We have new recipes hitting the platform all the time. Um, so that page is great for inspiration. Now, Back this way, these are all those modes that I've talked about. Now, scales, you'll be familiar with turbo and dough mode. You'll be familiar with those from your TM5 and depending if you have a cook key or not, maybe even the pre-clean function. Now, here we have some extra things. So the sensor for when we, you know, we have the sensor, which is the smart probe available for you to purchase. When you get one of those, that's what you press to help you um, integrate it through your machine. We have a chop function which is like, I don't know, if you're really, really not sure how to make breadcrumbs, you can just click on breadcrumbs, choose if you want coarse or fine, set it, and it will set you on your way, essentially. Preclean has got five different options, um, so that's a bit of a game changer. Blend mode, egg boiler. Egg boiler is particularly clever. You can choose how you want your eggs made. Um, kettle mode which is boiling your hot water or I've even used that to make a lot of hot chocolate when the kids have had friends over. Warm up mode, thicken, rice cooker, fermentation, slow cook, sous vide, peeler. Um, so the peeler is with the blade cover peeler. There's a mode in the TM6 to support that. And grating and slicing. There's also a mode to support the cutter that has just landed in the mix shop. So as you can see, and these are things that sometimes when there's an update, we might get an, an, a new one um, every so often, but these are definitely making things easier for us. Um, you've got your menu here. Once you've meal planned your week, you can just click on my week and see what's in there. Um, so it would have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, everything that you've planned in there. 
your recipes, you can make your own collections. So it's think of it like a folder. If you've got your TM5 and you're on with your cook key, it's the same as a playlist. You can create your own little folders um, to make things easier for you. All right, so this is our um, little bit of a crash course on the TM6. It is absolutely a game changer and it is a very, very clever appliance. We, um, if you have any other further questions, please ask your consultant um, or flick a message through and we can help you out. Take care, see you. TM6 has got a quad core processor with 16 gigabytes flash and one gigabyte DDR RAM. So it's a faster processor, more storage, and of course you've got access to your bookie doo.